Hello, students, staff, and families of Sierra Plumas Joint Unified. My name is Lindsay McIntosh, and I'm Executive Director of Musica Sierra. I am here today to bring you Episode 2 of the Digital Stage series. In this episode, we are featuring three incredible artists. First up is husband-wife duo Jennifer Paulino singing soprano and husband Dave Mahoney on guitar. I met both Jennifer and Dave while working for the Carmel Bach Festival, which happens every July in beautiful Carmel, California. Thank you, Jennifer and Dave, for taking the time to give us this beautiful 10-minute musical offering. I hope you enjoy. Hello, students, staff, and families of Sierra Plumas Joint Unified. My name is Jennifer. My name is Dave, and we are so excited to be making some music for you guys today. I am a classical singer by trade and a voice teacher, um, and I came to music through first through piano at age six and then with choir at age 11 and I decided to major in music and then go off to school in Europe and study early music specifically. So the first piece that we're going to be performing today is an early music piece, a Baroque piece by a composer named Henry Purcell who lived in the late 1600s in England um, and the, the song is called Music for a While and it's about how music makes you feel better and it soothes your worries. The savage beast. Yes, exactly. Because there's a character named... There's a character named Electo in the song, and she has snakes for hair. Um, and she's not a very pleasant character because she tends to trap people and keep them in prison. Um, so that's the inspiration for my Halloween costume here. So here is Music for a While. Oh, 
Now, I came to music in a very different way than Jennifer. I loved the radio, pop radio, as a kid. And at school, in grade school, they offered saxophone or trumpet, so I took saxophone. And I stuck with that until high school. One thing my school didn't offer was guitar. So I actually taught myself that. It was a slow process of plunking things out on a baritone ukulele, actually. And I bought my own electric guitar. And I started to write my own songs in high school, write and sing them. And I do it to this day. It's great fun. I love it. Uh, I have a band. We are in the midst of recording our third album. It's been thrown off a little bit by COVID at the moment. But one of the positives of that situation is getting to collaborate with my wife on new and different stuff. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. And we're going to play a song for you now that I wrote. It's in the Americana roots tradition, which is sort of like old timey country music. Uh, but good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I think. Uh, and it's called God Knows When. Yeah. And it's about uh, the excitement of a new relationship. Yes. And I need to grab my phone. One more song for you guys. Yeah. I mean, the fun thing for me is that I get to do stuff that's not classical music when I'm with Dave, so I'm thrilled about that. So we have another not classical song for you, and it's about Halloween, but we have a little set change, so we'll be right back. So we've got a little spooky song for you now. That's right. It's called Welcome to Spooky Town, mm -hmm. and it is a song that I wrote with my nephew, who was almost five at the time. I went over to visit, and he said, Uncle Dave, Uncle Dave, I want to write a song. And I said, okay. And he said, it's called Welcome to Spooky Town. And I said, all right. <laughs> so I sat down, and I tried to come up with some creepy-sounding chords. And he and I wrote the lyrics together. I highly encourage you to write a song with a five-year-old. It's a very uh, pure, creative experience. And the song is about 
the Halloween spirit and learning to let loose a little and have a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. So if there is a Halloween sound you would like to make, mm -hmm. feel, please feel free. You could do a ghost. Mm -hmm. Cackle. Cackle. <laughs> That's right. You could do like a, a mummy mouth. <laughs> Whatever yeah. you feel like, whatever, whatever you feel you're like in the mood for, please jump in. There's lots of opportunities. That's right. And have fun. Welcome to Spooky Time. Welcome to Spooky Time. There is a house where people used to live, but no more. Our next artist is world-renowned opera singer John Brancy. John is a very dear friend of mine who I met while studying at the Juilliard School. Since graduating, John has gone on to singing lead roles in opera houses such as Florida Grand Opera and San Francisco Opera. He has recently won a Grammy as one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard, and I'm so honored that he is going to be performing for you today. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoy. Hi to the students, teachers, administrators, and parents of Sierra Plumas Joint Unified. 
My name is John Brancy, and I'm an opera singer from New Jersey. My instrument of choice is my voice. So I'm actually what's called a baritone. And a baritone isn't quite a bass, and they're not quite a tenor either. So as, as the, the male sort of categorization of voices goes, the bass is the lowest, and the tenor is the highest, and the baritone is right in between. So I can sing pretty high and pretty low at the same time. So I've been singing since I was nine years old. I've been singing as an opera singer since I was around 17, 18. That's when I started working uh, on my opera voice. But I've been singing since I was just nine years old. So that means, geez, I'm 31 now. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's, wow, 22 years. I've been singing for 22 years. Um, and six of those years, I was training at the Juilliard School. So I grew up in New Jersey and I studied in New York City, but today I'm performing for you all in Los Angeles. So the piece you're about to hear is called Brother Can You Spare a Dime? And it's by E.Y. Harburg, that's the lyricist, and Jay Gurney, he wrote the music. And it's from their musical Americana from 1932, which was right during the Great Depression. And this song is, I love this song because it's such a powerful piece about about that time in our history, it, during the Great Depression, when someone was down and out and they were pursuing the American dream, but economically speaking, they weren't able to achieve those things that they were promised. Uh, this character also uh, was a veteran. He fought in World War I, which actually happened from 1914 to 1918. And essentially, I think that this, this piece is a really important piece right now because, you know, we're still kind of facing a lot of these problems today in America. We've got a lot of homeless people, people that come back from war and um, are down and out and don't really have that, that feeling of home or belonging. So this song is really for them. It's really a, an anthem for the people that, are, that need an extra hand, an, an extra helping hand. So this is Brother Can You Spare a Dime.
pants and khaki suits, our tea we look swell, full of that Yankee doodly tongue. Half a million boots went slugging through hell, and I was the kid with the drum. Say, don't you remember? They called me Al. It was Al all the time. Why don't you remember? Can you spare a time? I hope you enjoyed that piece. I know it's really, really intense, but I think the story is very, very important uh, given all that's going on still today, almost a hundred years in the future. So check it out, uh, check out the history around that song, Brother Can You Spare a Dime, and what was happening during the Great Depression in 1932. This next song, we're going to an entirely different genre. I'm taking you actually to Disney's Frozen, where I did a cover of uh, this amazing duet called Love is an Open Door. And I'm doing this performance with Rebecca Hargrove, who's an amazing soprano from New York City, and Peter Dugan, who is the pianist who you just heard in Brother Can You Spare a Dime. Peter and I actually do a lot of music together, and he himself is an incredible, incredible musician. So Love is an Open Door. Many of you have probably seen Frozen. This is one of my favorite duets, and this is where you're going to actually get to hear me sing in a different way. You just heard me sing with a really strong, deep baritone voice. This one's going to be a little bit more easy, kind of like a berry tenor, uh, that's a term that's used in musical theater, where I'm going to be what's doing what's called belting my voice, or straight tone singing, not a lot of that vibration or vibrato in my voice. So the other thing about the song that I really, really love is just the story, you know, it's so simple, it's a lot of fun, by Kristen and Robert Lopez, they're a married couple, and it just tells this incredible story of, you know, how easy and fun and natural love can be. Okay, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bump into you. I was thinking the same thing, cause like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking, or the chocolate fondue. But with you, but with you, I found my place. I see your face. And, and it's, it's nothing like I've ever known before. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. With you, with you, with you, love is an open door. Crazy. What? We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. I've never met someone who thinks, thinks so much like me. Jinx! Jinx, Jinx again! Our mental synchronization can have but one explanation. You were just meant to be. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to, to the pain of the, of the past. past. We don't have to feel it anymore. Love is an open door. Yes! Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed those songs, and I hope you learned a little bit more about the singing voice, specifically the opera voice. Um, thank you also to Musica Sierra for having me on for this program. It's been such a pleasure to be with you all, and I hope to see you again soon, so stay safe. Our final artist 
is Haley Nieswagner. She is an acclaimed saxophonist that studied at the Berklee School of Music in Boston. She has performed with legends such as Wynton Marsalis and recently Demi Lovato on the Saturday Night Live show. I had the honor of hearing Haley perform at National Sawdust, and since then, I've been a huge fan. Thank you again, Haley, and I hope you enjoy. Hello students, staff, and families of Sierra Plumas Joint Unified. My name is Haley Nyswanger. I also go by May Sun, and I am so excited to be playing music for you today. I am originally from Portland, Oregon, and I play many instruments. Today I'll be playing tenor and soprano saxophone, flute, clarinet, guitar, some percussion, key bass, vocals, and this is a washint. It's a flute from Ethiopia. I have been playing music for 25 years. I started piano when I was five and then added the woodwinds throughout my youth and then have more recently been dabbling with guitar and vocals and percussion. Um, I graduated from Berklee College of Music with a degree in jazz performance and after that I moved to New York City where I lived for seven years uh, working as a professional musician. I then moved to LA a couple years ago and have been working here the world's kind of turned upside down for the music industry, but I've been recently doing more home recordings or virtual concerts and lessons or whatever it may be that's kind of needed for music right now. But I am so glad to be playing for you today. This will be entirely unrecorded music, a fresh, most of it I wrote, wrote recently, but I'm very excited to bring you this today. Thank you. Thank you. 
I wanted to take a quick moment to thank our supporters for making this possible. The Firefly Scientist Foundation, the Sierra County Arts Council, the Sierra Schools Foundation, and last but not least, the school board and Superintendent James Rorarty for making this happen. Thank you again and see you next month.